Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Udeman Mythic Plus Dungeon Guide for Season 4 PTR footage so some changes are possible before this goes live. At the start you're gonna see some Geo Monsters interrupt their spikes as much as you can but always save an interrupt for their chain lightning which does a lot of AoE damage. The Basilic Spite Carapace puts a dot on your tank which stacks so interrupt those as well and make sure to stay out of the AoE stomp of the Berserkers big brown swirly on the ground. The first boss is a trio of lost dwarfs. Eric is going to throw daggers doing single target damage to players and cast Skullcracker. Brown swirly on the ground that you need to dodge. Olaf is going to throw his shield at you which does damage and ricochets to nearby players so stay away from them. He also casts a dome which reduces the damage taken while the dwarfs are standing inside simply interrupt that channel. And Belllock has a frontal and a cleave so make sure you always stand in behind him. At some point the dwarves jump in their boat and they start doing AoE damage, shooting fire swirlies on the ground that leave fire puddles. So keep dodging these and keep in mind that in some variations on the PTR the AoE damage was quite significant and this might be the case when this goes live on the servers as well. Once the dwarves get off the boat the fight continues as before. The trash packs that follow introduce some new mobs but the only new ability is the throw rock just swirly on the ground that you need to dodge and you will arrive at the second boss. Bromach is going to call 4 adds, one of them is range, you need to interrupt it so it goes on top of the boss and you can cleave it down. The other 3 adds are ambushers, they're gonna jump on players and do single target damage. He also does thundering slam, big blue circle, don't stay inside. And for his main ability he summons a totem that starts doing pulsing damage to everybody in your party. So you wanna focus it and kill it as quickly as possible. Once that happens all the mobs around the totem get stunned including the boss and they take increased damage. So make sure to drag them on top, keep interrupting the geomancers and after that everything continues in the same sequence of abilities. After the boss you get to fight some custodians, the earthen ones cleave so stay behind them if the refty ones have a jagged bite. That's a stacking bleed on your tank, could get pretty nasty if you do not stun them as that ability is not interruptible. And they also keep getting enraging stacks doing more and more damage which continues until you stun them. They're also quite slow so there are some strats where you can just pull them on top of the next boss. The launder starts with 2 orbs or 2 stacks of above that prevent him from getting stunned. He also marks players that drop circles underground, moving the boss through those circles removes one of these stacks. You have to manage to do that and then drag him through a orb for a third time before he manages to cast titanic empowerment which is basically enraged and the boss starts doing more damage. Keep in mind that every time you stun the boss he gets a stacking buff that increases the damage that his other abilities do. So try to time the stuns with the titanic empowerment cast and keep in mind that regular stun abilities also work on the boss. Other than that the boss is gonna keep casting crushing stomp, huge AoE ability that knocks everybody back. And he also leaves 10 second bleeds on random players throughout the fight. You have to make sure to heal them back up to full before the crushing stomps so that they don't get one shotted by them. Obviously the later stages of the fight are gonna be harder because the boss is going to be doing more damage so saving bloodlust for them is advisable. The trash that follows includes some weavers which are going to cast hail of stone. An interruptible channel that you need to CC because it does huge AoE damage to everybody in your party. And they'll also cast stone bolts, save any spare interrupts for those. The priority interrupt here is curse of stone casted by the wardens. If that goes off and you cannot dispel it the target becomes a stone they get stunned and after a short while they explode in a big brown swirly. So make sure to interrupt that and also spare interrupt should go to the earthen ward which is just a shield placed on a friendly target. There is a pack with runic protector, coordinated groups try to avoid this mob as it's quite nasty. Fissuring slam hits several players and leaves puddles on the ground that you need to move out from and then he's going to cast earthquake. 6 seconds channel that does heavy AoE damage to everybody in your party, it's not avoidable so you simply have to heal through it. What follows is an area with a bunch of spiders that are going to pounce on people and do damage leaving stacking poison on your tank, having a poison dispel here really helps. And while you fight them you have to interrupt the bats around them, the sonic burst if it goes off you take heavy AoE damage and you get silenced. Killing them opens the door to boss number 4 Emberon. 
who has a huge front though, so don't stay in front. His first AoE ability is called Unstable Embers. Fire circles are spawned around each of the players. Make sure you don't overlap those as they explode for a lot of damage shortly. And keep in mind that the adds near the wall are going to keep sending those fire pillars at players so you need to keep moving and dodging them throughout the fight. At some point the boss also casts Searing Clap which leaves fire debuff dot on every player. This one is dispellable but of course the ones that you cannot dispel you have to heal through. Every 40 seconds the boss jumps into the middle of the room, becomes immune and spawns fire beams that start rotating around the room so make sure you don't get hit by those. In order to transition him back to phase 1 you have to kill 4 adds around the room that are channeling towards the boss. And you have to do that while moving in front of the beams. It's highly advisable here to stack on your tank before this phase starts so everybody's group and the healer can keep you up as everybody is taking ticking damage throughout that phase. The boss will keep juggling between those two phases until it dies. The trash that follows introduces several new mobs. The first one is the Ebonstone Golem. It has a 3 second thunderous clap cast that does heavy AoE damage to everybody inside but you can avoid that damage by hiding behind some of the pillars in the area. The earthen guardians are going to cast a dome that does damage to everybody inside and buffs the damage of the unfriendly mobs that remain there so make sure you move everybody outside of it. And just before the last boss you're gonna fight some infinite agents, interrupt their Hassan ability as it buffs their damage. And you can drag them on top of the infinite time reverse which have an aura. This aura puts a stacking debuff on everyone reducing their haste and inflicting damage. But keep in mind that you can reset your stacks if you hide behind the pillar and line of sight the mob. The debuff is also dispellable so that's another way to get rid of your stacks. Few packs of these, some jumping tricks to avoid a double time reaver pool and you should be at the last boss. He's gonna keep casting a time sync dot on 3 players every 20 seconds. It does a ton of damage and it slows you down but that also means that you can dispel it with abilities like Blessing of Freedom, Tiger's Lust, Disengage, Thunderous Pulse etc and you should definitely do that as your healer can only dispel one of them and everybody else won't be able to keep up with the damage that the fight has. The time sync debuffs are usually followed by a wing buffet which is an AoE that knocks you back. So everybody needs to be topped off before that happens and the boss also has a frontal so make sure you're standing behind it. As you can see you have to keep dodging all the puddles on the ground until the boss casts rewind time. At this point you have 12 seconds to stay on top of those puddles to shrink them down and you also get a haste buff while doing so. During this the boss fills up his energy bar back up and then goes back to phase 1 which will continue with the same abilities draining his energy back to zero before the next rewind. After few iterations you should be able to kill the boss and complete the Udaman dungeon. If you want to watch similar guides for the rest of the mythic plus dungeons in season 4 they are available on my channel so I'll see you there. Now get out of here.